What's the deal with Playboy parties? Everybody wants to get into one. Playboy has 57 years of experience putting on the greatest parties on earth. We pretty much have perfected how to do this. Suddenly we've become the hottest party at Art Basel. It's literally the hottest ticket in South Beach right now, and we're gonna have people storming the gates to get into this party. something that's far different than just a party. Art Basel is probably the most important art fair in the United States. I love Art Basel. It's this weird blend between like an art fair and like fashion week. Art Basel brings something like 80,000 art lovers from around the world together. Not to mention that this is the hippest weekend of the year. We've always wanted to do something in Art Basel. For years we've been coming down here and we really wanted to be a part of it. Miami is a sexy place, Playboy is a sexy brand. It's the perfect combination of sophistication and sin. We got the best party of the weekend. I was inspired by the idea of the models becoming living works of art and mingling with the crowd and walking as you know, as works of art. This is not about skin. This is about the nude as muse. This is about something that goes back to Michelangelo's David. What moves art more than, than, than eroticism? We selected the 12 artists for Nudist Muse uh, based on our desire to have a really great range. We tried to kind of recreate what you see in the pages of Playboy magazine, which is all kinds of artists from all different genres. Scott Campbell is a very famous tattoo artist. He's probably the most well-known tattoo artist. He's tattooed everyone from Heath Ledger to Courtney Love. So of course it's one of those things where it's like, oh yeah, call the tattoo guy. Naked people is, that's my world. <laughs> my name is Kembra and I'm in a band called the Voluptuous Horror of Karen Black. Kembra Faithler is a performance artist based in New York. She's known for painting her body, these crazy colors, and putting on wigs and doing the performances. So take my hand and you will see what a maniac I can be. I've been reading Playboy all my life and have been inspired by it. And then you've got people like Vanessa Beecroft, who's one of the most important artists today. And just two days ago, she decided to recreate one of her really famous works using 18 nudes. I thought I was invited to come to the party. I didn't realize I was supposed to do a performance. I have taboos uh, towards Playboy. Like, my work is kind of the opposite. Even if it looks like Playboy, it actually brings an opposite message. It's quite an iconic piece she's recreating. I think it's going to be absolutely extraordinary. You know, we're going to have Olympia Scary coming in a burqa. I think I was more interested in, um, in the body being covered as opposed to full nudity. I find people are quite repressed and are not free to, to be nude and to express themselves in that way. This was a really interesting project to cast. It, it was a lot different than having your your normal, I'd like someone that's 5'11", blonde hair, blue eyed, and um, can walk. Could you please source for me a professional hula hooper who will hula hoop nude, an uncircumcised penis, um, someone with a large ass, small waist, triple Ds. I'd like to hang a monitor from some boobs. Um, I'd like to project on a very flat, flat-chested woman that has creamy skin. I'm very nervous about the models <laughs> showing up. We're asking over 30 local and professional Miami models to be nude for eight hours in cold, windy weather. And we're all, we basically have a very limited budget, so we're asking them to do it for free. They're doing it for free, for a little glass of wine. <laughs> Hopefully a glass of champagne. It doesn't really matter how far in advance you start planning, everything gets done at the last minute. Artists, uh, I think, work best when they're under a tight deadline. We've got the best party of the weekend, so I don't expect any problems. Everything else is gonna pale in comparison to what we're doing.